Hi, uh, Bill here. This is a video review of Bergerac, the complete collection box set. It features all nine series of this classic drama on 27 discs. Just show you right there. Yes. And I'll try and hold it longer because it does shake about a bit. My camera's nearly uh, motion blur on it. There's the other side. Underneath just is the running time of the whole thing. Right, lift the lid and you see all nine uh, disc cases of Bergerac. Very nice. In fact, I'll open one up for you. Right, here's, here's just one. Oh, in fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, fifth, what's that, fourth? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the first one. First one is the only one. That's complete commentary. The John Nails, Robert Banks, one, five, and ten. There we go. I'll open the case up to show you. But in these swing things like that. Well, you know, normally I think most of them have got three discs each. Uh, but that's the only one with the commentaries on it. The other eight don't have commentaries with it unfortunately. Which is a shame. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that s series two I'll try and get it out. Oh, get out. <laughs> Series 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7 all do not have uh, they have edited versions, they don't have, I don't think I don't think they've got the full uncut versions, they're edited ones. I don't know if you can read the blurb on that. It's too small. It might be out of focus. But it does say on there I'll read it. Due to the archive nature of the footage, sound and picture quality may vary occasionally. For contractual reasons, certain edits have been made. So clearly they don't have the full length episodes on these. Now on series 7, oh it doesn't have it in there, I don't know if you can see that, hold on. Trencher's last case and the Christmas special. In that one, he goes in Charlie's hunger for boat abroad on a year sabbatical. But the next episode, he's in Jersey uh, just trying to solve a case. You know, it's like the previous, at the end of the, the last previous episode never happened. So these two should be the other way about. These two episodes. The, the, the wrong way around. That one should be there, and that one should be there. That's the only problem with that, and it's series seven. So that's the only other problem with it. And that one, the good episodes, the best episodes, as you know, are the ones with uh, Philip Avell in it. They're really good with Lisa Goddard. That's really good. The ninth, at the end of the ninth. He, uh, Charlie Hungerford says to Jim, uh, do you want to head up or be the head of the Bureau? Uh, later on, right at the end, uh, Bergerac agrees to that. He, he does. He agrees to that offer. But in the episode of the detectives, uh, is it, what is it, studs? 
episode 5 series 1 of the detectives he's still a detective sergeant so if he was the head of the bureau why is he still a detective sergeant and the detectives episode is probably set after the end of that that final one which is so why is he still a detective sergeant if he's a head of the bureau which is strange I know that it's a tongue in cheek thing the episode the detectives but he's still well, could have changed his rank from detective sergeant to chief or inspector or you know something like that I don't know something like that anyway they should, they should still change, change his rank to, to a higher rank they didn't uh, but apart from that the season is very good the transfer is ah, it's really good it's okay it's, it's a little problem with sound you know um, it's not as loud as it should be in, in some of the episodes and obviously that, that the episode that series seven's the wrong way around and they've only got the commentaries the thing with the commentaries is you should have du you get different actors to do commentaries not just join for the different series and they could have got a production staff a production team to do commentaries as well it doesn't just have to be john nettles so they could get that but if the blurry ever comes out for it they might add those in and they might add the detectives episode in to the, to, the, to the extras as well for that so I'm hoping that's the case the other thing they should have done at the time they obviously didn't think about this at the time is that they could have added gave Jim, Jim a son or added a son in so he could continue the series run to today they want to go on about a, a bit about uh, the series today what it would be like in a minute because in the final one uh, does I think is it Danielle that that's his new girlfriend because at the end of the last episode all for love uh, Bergerac just finds out out of the blue and we didn't know this before and right that Daniel had gone off and married someone else you know he had the letter from Charlie or Danielle that he or the letter from Danielle that he that she got married someone else we didn't know anything about this beforehand there was no hints or nothing it just dropped out of the blue so we didn't know anything about this so I'm thinking that if they did make a new series why don't they just add a long lost son into it John could be in the first episode hand the reins over to the new this long lost son and they could continue a new series now that they couldn't use the triumph because you know it wouldn't be cost effective they'd probably use these new high speed police interceptors you know the, the unmarked ones you know the, the real Jersey police probably use to this day well John will know what kind of cars have seen darting about there he, he goes there he's there sometimes to visit his grandchildren so he, he knows what the, the police use as well as the marked cars Non mark ones, so he, he probably knows what cars they use, but they're probably high speed at interceptor ones. And they'd have to use these because if that Triumph ever gets primed, I doubt they would they'd have as many as they did in the original series. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's expensive and they don't have the parts these days to fix these things, so the cost effective they just use an interceptor it wouldn't, wouldn't be the same if they did better at today, but uh, it, it would definitely. And if we can drop that. Danielle thing of her getting married in the last minute. I can't see why they can't just drop pin and have a that he has a long lost son. John could maybe appear in the first episode, you know, just briefly and hand the reins over to the, the son and they could continue with a new series and using new technology like mobile smartphones and you know, the stuff you have nowadays that you find in a lot of police series that they use, even in real police use. So they could do it, but you your you guess as good as mine that they, you know that they won't. They won't do it. Why they won't? Or maybe they are. Maybe they're secretly working on one now. Maybe John's consulting just now and having a new series of Berserk happen. And have a new, younger star in mind to appear in it. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But I would love to see one. But no, they couldn't use the Triumph the death trap as John calls it because it wouldn't be cost effective 
if that thing ever get cranged or crash, uh, they would use just the interceptors that they have nowadays, the turbo charged ones. Uh, and they could hand it, the range over to his son, a long lost one, or a long lost cousin, or whatever. And John could briefly appear in the first episode to hand that over, the reins over to him. So it would, it would have been good to see a new season of Bergerac, but like I say, it will probably never happen. The, the only other thing I can say is, I don't know why John doesn't do a one-off mini-sode on YouTube, Bergerac. I mean, I've, I've been seeing another comments on YouTube, you know, Bergerac-related YouTube for a while now, and no, it just seems to be getting it, getting ignored. He could do it. It's not beyond him to do it. I mean, John Lovelace could put it together. He does the commentary stuff. It's, it doesn't need to be that long. It could be five minutes, three minutes, two minutes. doesn't matter. I mean, you, you, we've got Richard Dean Anderson doing a, uh, reprising his role as uh, MacGyver in a car commercial, the, the new sighting car. So... It's not beyond John to do a Bergerac one. It'd be good to see, but would, would he do it? <sighs> Is he too busy with his writing, writing his, his new books and other projects? You know, here again, your guess is as good as mine. But as for a new season of Bergerac, we would like to see one. They could just drop it in at last minute, like they did with the Danielle getting married thing. And John could hand the reins over to someone new but it probably wouldn't have the new triumph in it but anyway that's enough about me waffling on about wishing there was a new series of Bergerac or a mini sewed on YouTube that's the Bergerac complete collection it is worth getting you might not be able to see it in the shops because I, I couldn't see it in anywhere you know like Glasgow I think uh, in Jersey they might still have some but YouTube I got this off of Hey, YouTube. YouTube? Aye, yeah, right. <laughs> I'll start that again. eBay I got this off of. And, aye, uh, this is probably a way to get it online. Because it is harder to find in some locations than others. But it is worth getting. Yes, the show's on yesterday. I tell about the free view episodes, but they're all over the place. So you get one episode from Series 3, another from Series 4. It's, it's disjointed. But you get the complete collection here. It is worth getting. And that is my review for Bergerac. The complete collection. DVD box set. I thank you.